Hello and thanks for watching. We are going to be doing a reformer workout that is leg focused. It's leg blast. We're going to get started right away and I'm on a balanced body, a leg row two, and I'm using three red or three heavy springs. We're going to be doing some footwork, a little bit of footwork. So come on down onto the carriage and we're going to begin with our heels on the bar about hip bone distance apart. So not too wide, just kind of a normal stance, if you will. And then let's start with a press out and return. And guys, let's get our breathing going right away. We're going to exhale as you press out and inhale to return. Couple things to focus on here. As we're pressing out, we want to straighten the knees, but not lock them at the end. We want it to be fully straightened and then release. We're moving nice and fluidly. And we're keeping the pelvis still. That means we're not letting it tilt in any direction. We're holding it still in space. That's going to take some ab work to do that. And let's do a couple more here. And one more. All right. Now, one of my favorite things to do is just float the hips off about an inch. You should barely be able to get your hand underneath and then press out again and come back in. Just by lifting the hips off a little bit, you're already firing. You can probably feel it into the back of the leg so you can feel more of the hamstrings and the calves working. Get a little bit more glued action too. We're going to do four more and three. Two and one. Make sure you haven't risen up any, you're still hovering, and then lower down. Now let's put your heels on the outside and do second position. Your hips are down right now. We're pressing out and coming in. And again, you're going to exhale as you press out, inhale as you return. Uh, feels good, doesn't it? In this position, you should feel your glutes working a little bit more because they do this action. They turn the legs out and they extend the hip. Let's do three more and then add that hip lift. Exhaling out, inhaling to return. All right, come on in. Now lift the hips and hover. Press and return. Now you should really be able to feel the glutes and the hamstrings working here. Keep your pelvis nice and level still, even though it's hovering. Remember, it's not getting higher or lower toward the carriage. It's maintaining that exact same height as you press out for five and four, three, two, and one, come on in and lower the hips down. Now, go into still feet hip distance apart and lift your heels. Be on the balls of your feet on the bar. Lift your heels and press out here. Let's just get a little calf work in here. It wouldn't be a full leg blast if we didn't work the calves. Exhale under, inhale lift. Lower and rise up. That's it, down and up. Now, as you're doing this, you want to... Think about keeping the weight right in the center of the ball of the foot, the whole range of motion. So as you go under and as you pick it back up, lower and lift. You got it? And you can exhale down and inhale up. Try not to roll to the pinky toe as you lift the heels up. So let's do five, four, three. Can you feel those heating up? Two, hold it up there, and then bend your knees and come in. All right, come on off. We're going to go into a little butt blaster here. So I'm going to go to two red or two heavy springs. I come into a lunge position. My foot on the floor is about halfway between my back foot, which is against the shoulder rest, and the front of the reformer. I flatten my back and sit back toward my back heel without touching it. And I get my knee off the carriage, shoulders open, hands on the foot bar, kick back, two, three. Try to have minimal movement in this standing leg. That's it. Exhale, press. 
I think even though my heel's not pressing against anything, I'm pushing into my heel. That's it. Let's do four more. Four. And three. Two. Hey guys, before we continue the workout, I just want to tell you about John Gary TV. On John Gary TV, you'll see workouts like this without any ads or any interruptions. We have literally thousands of workouts on John Gary TV. We've got mat workouts, reformer workouts, all kinds of workouts. And we have lots of different subscriptions so you can find the one that's perfect for you. If you check out our link above, you'll see that your subscription is 50% off your first month. I hope you'll join me over on John Gary TV, and now let's get back to work. And three, two, and one. And come on in, let's go to the other side. Same positioning, get that back nice and straight, and press, two. Exhale, press back, three. Shoulders open. We got it. Good. Woo. One more. Perfect. Now come up on top. And I'm going to keep the two red springs. Hands on the bar. Feet against the shoulder rest. Knees dropped. Back straight. Knee stretches. Knees off. And pull. And pull. Can you feel the quads? Pull it in. And pull. That's it, give me five more, four, three, two, one, and come down. Now I'm gonna go to one red. We're gonna do a little hamstring work. I'm gonna bring the headrest up into the top position. I stand in the well, over to one side, and I put one heel in the crease where the headrest meets the carriage, and I pull. Now, I wanna get my knee as straight as I can before I start. Maybe a little bend in it is okay. If it's too much bend, then scoot back a little bit. Exhale to pull. And four, three, two, and one, and come in. All right, let's do the other side. Try to even up where your feet are. Put the heel in, square off, and pull. Exhale. I dig my heel down to ground it and get more into that hamstring. Five more. Stay square to the side. Keep going. Three. Come on, you can do it. Two. And one, and bring it in with control. Now, let's go around and do that circuit again. So I'm going into two heavy, two red for a butt blaster. Push. Shoulders open. Bring it back with control. Three more. Two more. One more and bring it in. All right, let's go to the other side. And same thing, are you with me? Come on, press it back. <sighs> Continuous movement. <sighs> That's it. Give me three more, three, two, one. All right, now come on to the carriage, hands on the bar, feet against the shoulder rest, knees drop just above the carriage, and pull for 10. Back is flat. I exhale as I pull it in. Four, three, two, come on now, one more, one. And now we go to just one red. Back for our hamstrings. So come on back. Heel in the crease. Make sure your knee starts with just a slight bend in it. And pull. Now obviously, my springs might not be your springs. 
So if this is too heavy or too light, you adjust your springs. That's it. And pull. We have five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do the other leg. Coming down, right up here. Square off, pull. Try to keep the body from swaying forward and back. Dig that heel down into the carriage. Four more. And three. Two. And one. All right. I love three sets. So we're doing our third set of this now. So come around. Butt blaster is next. Press. That's it. Shoulders open. Abdominals pulled in tight. Three more. Three. Two. One. Yeah, the third set is the charm, isn't it? Come on over to the other side. Sit back and press. I can feel the glute. Can you? It's working, right? We have five more. Keep it going. Woo, and come on in. All right, now we're going to our knee stretches, knees off, straight back, sit back and pull. This is a quad burner, isn't it? Hug that bar with your hands. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go to just the one red spring for our hamstrings. Come on back, heel in the crease, square off and pull. Whew, I'm working up a sweat, are you? Pull it in, feel the hamstring. Come on now. Three more, pull, return with control. That's it, last one, control it. And let's switch to the other side. So right over, right here, square off and pull. That's it, knee tracking right over the center of the foot. Strong core. Three more. One more. And return with control. All right. We're going to put the bar down and grab our box. <clears throat> the box comes up, and I'm going to put it against the shoulder rest. For this exercise, I'm going to use one red and one blue, so one heavy, one light. I step onto the platform, and my other foot is gonna go against the box. I'm gonna come down into a squat here, and I'm just gonna push out, press. That's it, I'm pushing into the side of my foot, really focus on pressing with the heel, so I'm getting into the side of the butt. Five. Four. Notice my weight is over on this standing leg. Three, two, one. I'm going to come up and I'm going to turn around to the other side. So here we go. Coming down. I put my weight on the platform leg side and I skater. Press out. That's it. Press. Knee is at the same angle as the foot. Four more, four, three, two, and one. All right, now I'm gonna put my foot down on the floor for a second, and I'm gonna go to one light spring. 
So I'm just using a light. This is going to get my inner thighs. Platform foot first, then carriage. Standing tall, out. <sighs> Pull it back in. Inhale out. Pull it back in. Draw it away. As you're going out and in, avoid your pelvis tipping. You want to keep it vertical now. You can put your hands on your hips so you can feel it. Inhale out. Draw up to come back in. Control it. Don't slam it against the stopper. Three more. Three. Two. Pull it up. And one. Draw it up. All right. Be careful stepping back. Let's go over to the other side. Woo. And then come on up. Here we go. Press away. Exhale. Bring it in. And pull it in. Shoulders open. Standing tall. Draw it in. And I think up, lifting up and in. Four more. And three. We've got two. And one. All right, now you're going to step back. And we're going to go back up to one red and one blue. Come on up on top. Second set of this. Come into that squat position. Weight is on the platform leg. And push. That's it. You got it. The box helps keep us from sliding. Stay as low as you can. Try not to lift up and lower with the hips. Keep them right where they are. Three, two, one, and come in. All right, let's turn around and do the other side. Same thing. Get down deep. Push. <sighs> Try not to travel with the leg. Keep your body right here. Only the leg moves. That's it. You can feel work on this standing leg too, can't you? Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Rise up and step back. All right. Let's go to the light spring. Inner thigh time. Standing tall. Press out. <sighs> Control it in. This is a bit slower, right? And pull it in. Again, press. And draw it in. Press. And in. Out. Bring it in. Inhale away. Draw it in. Three. And two. And one. Bring it in with control. Step down from the carriage side. Let's go to the other side. Woo. Let's finish these inner thighs off. Here we go. Stepping up. Press. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. Inhale out. Exhale. Draw it in. Really feeling the inner thighs right from the origin all the way down the leg, the inside of the leg. And in. pull. And four. Inhale out, exhale in. Three. And two. And one. Step down from the carriage side. Beautiful. Let's take the box off. Now, let's go to one red and one blue again. We get to stretch this out. So my foot bar is down from the top. Doesn't have to be all the way to the bottom. You can even use it to put your hands on. I'm going to put my back foot against the shoulder rest. I'm kneeling on the carriage. My front foot is in the middle of the platform with my heel off the edge. And I'm just going to push back. Stretch. Press back. 
So you got a little bit of resistance to work with here. The goal is to stretch, right? So we want to push the heel against the platform and the back foot against the shoulder rest. Keep the back as long as possible as you press out. Press. And one more time, pushing back, lengthen. And come back in. All right, now let's switch. Foot against the shoulder rest, knee right in line with it on the carriage. Other foot on the platform, heel off the edge. Push with your feet and come back in. Exhale, press back and come back in. We're doing it three more times. Press and in. Two more. Out. And one more time, really separate those feet as far apart as you can get them. And then come back in. All right, step off to the side. We're gonna go to just one red. I'm gonna stand on the floor with my foot closest to the foot bar on the floor, leg turned out. The other foot is gonna go against the shoulder rest here. And I have it in a parallel position. You can always also do this in turnout, but I wanna hit those inner thighs. So I'm sinking down, and then I'm just pressing away. Bending my knee to come forward, and rising back up. So sinking, and pressing out. Again, I'm pressing with my feet, giving a little assist with my hands. One more. Sink, and press, in, and rise up. All right, we're gonna finish on the other side. And guys, please hit that subscribe button and like this video and throw a comment in the bottom. Tell me what you thought of it. Sink and press out, in and up. Again, sink and press. Oh, it feels so good, doesn't it? One more time, press it out there. Come in and up. I hope that you enjoyed this workout. And if you did, I hope that you'll check out John Gary TV. On our site, we have thousands of workouts for you on reformer, on mat, on chair, on spring wall, fitness, everything that you can possibly want or imagine. Plus, there's no ads or interruptions. I hope that you'll join me on John Gary TV today. Thanks for joining me here now. Hey everybody, thank you so much for working out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed that workout. And if you did, I hope that you will join us over on John Gary TV. John Gary TV has over a thousand workouts that include Reformer, Pilates Mat, and Fitness. We are your at-home Pilates and Fitness Studio. Right now, if you sign up, you'll get 50% off your first month. And it doesn't matter if you don't have a Reformer. If you've got a mat, you can have a mat membership. If if you've got some fitness gear, you can have a mat and fitness membership. Or if you've got a reformer, you can have an all access membership. We've got you covered. So I hope you'll join us over on johngarytv.com today.